I guess got here now that I've played on it long enough I can give my opinions on the Forgotten Runes the new map that came with Vecna and I think the overall consensus here is that it is just not good it's very incredibly good for aesthetics as maps usually tend to be in Dead by Daylight the aesthetics and overall feel and atmosphere of the map are always good and this map is absolutely no exception the dungeon area downstairs is awesome and I loved exploring it and going around there but when you get down to the nitty-gritty of actually playing on the map it is really bad for one main reason. The killer has no reason to ever go downstairs, and the survivors have no reason to really ever go upstairs. And that is the problem, because there are four generators upstairs, the survivors have to go upstairs, but there's only three generators downstairs, so the killer never really has to go down there. Now, trust me, it can be very annoying when survivors get hit up here, use a portal, go downstairs, reset over and over again, but it basically incentive... It reminds me of the whole... Like the whole Haddonfield problem where the map is extremely survivor sided if the killer doesn't play the three gen, but if the killer does play the three gen, the map is very killer sided. So we're in this scenario where the killer never goes downstairs, they just stay upstairs, and the upstairs is really weak for survivor. There's like six pallets total, maybe, on the entire like out or outside area. And even from those, most of them are just really bad pallets. You've got like shack, one or two junk tiles like this that can be kind of usable a little bit. And then you've got some weird jank like outer border ones that are like, they're not even connected to anything. They're just pointless. So the top floor is really, really, really weak for survivor. Additionally, it has probably the worst exit gates in DBD, where if the killer closes the hatch, you're going to die. I don't care if you have Soul Survivor, Wake Up, Resilience. You cannot open the door fast enough. The killer can just sit in the middle of the map and just see both doors. And considering they are in a static spot, they never change. You cannot escape if the killer finds the hatch first. I'm not sure how they put such a glaring flaw into the map. And I understand not wanting to balance the map around, you know, just that specific endgame scenario. But that is the kind of thing you have to you know, take into account. Otherwise, you know, if the killer closes the hatch, you might as well have a cinematic cutscene where, I don't know, a beholder just eats the last survivor or something. You can make it thematic or something like that because you can't escape. So that's really bad. Now, on the killer defense side, the portals enable you to basically create an infinite if you know how to do it properly, which again, incentivizes the killer to just never chase you downstairs. As soon as you go into a portal, that's it. You might as well not exist. <clears throat> it's sort of like chasing someone to the main building of Dead Dog Saloon. You just have to pretend it doesn't exist or you're going to lose the game. So it's a really, really frustrating scenario where you're upstairs and happy as killer or downstairs as miserable as killer and then the exact opposite as survivor. And that kind of black and white map like that where you have to do one or the other to have any chance of you know winning is not really good game design. I don't like that at all. So those are the main issues. It's way too survivor-sided downstairs and way too killer-sided upstairs. But because there's more gens upstairs and downstairs, the killer doesn't really have a reason to ever go downstairs. Um, additionally, there's also a major problem downstairs where there's only two hooks. The downstairs is like the size of the upstairs. And the upstairs has like six hooks. But the downstairs has two hooks. It makes no sense. So if someone goes down in the wrong spot underground, you just can't hook them. My, like, almost every time I've lost on this map is because I chase people downstairs, and I just can't hook them. I don't get anything for chasing them. Some survivor takes a portal later, teleports right on top of them, picks them back up, and they're fine, and they reset, and I've accomplished nothing doing that. So, the hooks are terrible. This map is basically a just a, a whole bunch of super obvious things the devs should have seen, like with the exit gates and the three gen upstairs and the lack of hooks, and they should have seen that within a couple of games, like, oh, this is a huge problem. Um, so how do you fix this? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, in terms of the exit gates, one of the exit gates should, at the very least, if we have to keep them both upstairs, should be behind the Forgotten Ruins tower, so it obscures the vision a little bit, and the killer has to spend time going around the whole tower to actually see, just to give a small, small chance. Again, this is a very small map upstairs, so it's still like 90% in the killer's favor, but at least it would be possible, using really, really good misdirection and stuff like that, to actually mess with the killer enough to be able to open that door so that's what i would do what i would love to see is them actually put an exit gate like downstairs i think that would be really interesting but i i don't think that jives with how they make maps i think the asset that is the exit gate just doesn't work like on an indoor area so i don't think they're ever going to do that so at the very least split the exit gates up one behind the actual tower and then the one you know on the opposite side so you can't see both at the same time 
Additionally, uh, the portals. The portals, I think, are too lenient in their iframes, and they're also too lenient in the amount of cooldown they have. After a survivor walks through one of these, the killer shouldn't have to wait like two seconds for it to be active to go in again. It should be basically immediate. Um, there's no reason, because that is how it works, there is a particular loop downstairs where you chain portals together where the killer can just basically never hit you. And that is definitely problematic. So the portals need to be a bit less lenient. Um, and then additionally, we need more hooks in the basement. We just need to actually incentivize the killer to be able to hook people down there because um, no one wants to be slugged down there for four minutes, but that's often the only choice that the killer actually has. Um, doing all these things, I think, would make it better. I would put more pallets upstairs, too. There are really not many things to work with upstairs, and considering, you know, that's a good half the map, there needs to be probably half the pallets of the map upstairs. You can't have, like, you know, four or five up top and then, like, ten on the bottom floor. It's just, it's just disproportionate. They need to be equally dispersed depending on where the generators are, so... Those are the main compro uh, problems with the map, and I do think they're all pretty fixable. This is not like an irredeemable map, um, but right now it's kind of unpleasant to play on, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.